Okay, so whenever we have an isotrope, we might have a minimum boiling isotrope or a maximum boiling isotrope. In this case, we're going to start with the minimum boiling isotrope because it's the most common one. And when we have positive deviations, remember that if you're talking about the pressure diagram, the Raoult's law, which will be something around here, let's assume it's something around here, that's Raoult's law. Then, if you have a minimum boiling isotrope, you should have positive deviations, meaning that the lines will be on the top or above the model of Raoult's. So, as you can see, we have no problems. So probably you're wondering, why do we call this a minimum boiling isotrope point if we have a maximum point right here? Well, this is true for pressure, but actually we want to check out, okay, this is constant temperature, meaning that we are changing pressure. But if you wanted to check out a temperature diagram, which is right here, you will see that the point will be at a minimum. At constant pressure, if we were to graph this minimum boiling isotrope, we will have this point right here, and this is the lowest point in the diagram. So that's why it's called the minimum boiling isotrope. Some common examples, ethanol and water, carbon disulfide and acetone, and benzene and water. And yeah, I know that this might not be that intuitively, because you can assume that they will separate the organic phase and the aqueous phase, but actually, Benzene is a little bit soluble in water and vice versa. Water is a little bit soluble in benzene. So you will encounter at 30% of water some isotropic formation. Okay, so what do we have here? Okay, as stated before, minimum boiling isotrope will have a maximum point whenever we have constant temperature and we will have a minimum point when we have a constant pressure. Now, here is the point I was telling you about. Let's call point L. At this point, we have a solution or a vapor that has the same compositions as a liquid. So technically, there is no vapor-liquid mixture, even though there is actually a, a point. So remember, whenever you have crossing lines, especially in functions, the point is a single point. doesn't mean that you have an area. So that's why, technically speaking, you could say that there is no vapor liquid uh, phase. And what is true, y equals x, so ya will be equal to xa, meaning that the composition in the liquid and vapor phases are the same, and if that is true, the driving force will not be enough to carry out this separation via distillation. This concentration is known as the asiotropic composition, yeah, very creative. What is the composition in the isotrope? Yeah, the composition is found here. At this point, the mixture boils at the constant temperature. That's also very important. We will not be able to change that. The only thing that we can do is either pressurize it or add another uh, external ingredient to favor the change or shift of the isotrope. On the equilibrium diagram, it can be seen that at this point, we have the line with the 45 degrees. Yes. So this is temperature versus composition, but let's go to composition versus uh, liquid composition and paper composition. Remember that if we have a crossing in the XY diagram or the 45 degree line, then we will not be able to carry out our distillation. Now we know that this is the asiotropic point. 